clear in the beginning that we didn't want this to be a, a 50s or 60s or 70s sounding science fiction film. So we knew from the start that we were going to try to eschew the sound tropes, which are computers making beeps and everything that you see in all the graphics that are so common now in most movies would ha all have sounds. We, we just wanted to try to stay away from that and grounded as much in reality as possible. And anywhere where we wanted to transcend that sensibility, we would use organic sounds, not computer or synthetic sounds. computer voice, BDC, uh, fragmentation of the computer, loss of power thing. The computer has all of Will's voice stored in there and if it's gonna fall apart, it, it can serve all these multi-functions of telling a little bit of the story of what's happened with all the residents of Brightwood, what's happened to the computer once the power is kind of pulled out. So we did all that fragmented voice stuff. I was truly incredible. I've never felt anything like this. I didn't think I could it's like their thoughts. Amazingly, we didn't record a real lot for this film like we might normally do, where we'd be out for months recording raw elements. The first recording trip was to the Lawrence Livermore Labs because we are in high-tech, futuristic laboratories for so much of the film. I wanted that to be grounded in reality, and I even wanted to understand myself, what does a modern laboratory sound like? And it's nothing like what the movies portray laboratories to sound like. There's no exotic, weird beeps and boops and tones and rumbles. It's, it's kind of mostly fan wines. It's computer fan wines and cooling fan wines almost everywhere you go. And then we did a great deal of recording in and around LA at UCLA and a couple of research labs to get modern robotics. There's a component of the laboratories that had our futuristic version of what robotics might look like. But one of the fun things that we did record was a 3D printer, or several 3D printers, because there's, it has this sort of very crazy, almost musical movement. 